All right, guys, let's check out these Christopher Ward examples. They were sent over for me to check out and share with you guys and then be returned. So um, 36 millimeter on the red one, 39 on the white. So let's cover the size on both these. Let's do a little side by side comparison and uh, my thoughts overall. So we'll start with the smaller one because this is probably some pretty exciting stuff for a lot of people out there. There's some very cool, fun colors, you know, a yellow, a, a blue, the red. Um, I forget, there's a couple others, and in the 36 millimeter size, and you can get it on matching leather, or there's going to be a bracelet for it as well. So, very cool, and it's the light catcher case. So, I'm a big fan of this case design overall, I think a lot of you guys are as well. So, this guy is 36 millimeter by only 42.25 millimeter for the lug to lug, very short. Only 11.25 millimeter thick, 20 millimeter lug width. 6.3 millimeter screw down crown. I'm sure the bracelet is going to taper. It's probably, I don't have one here, but it's probably going to at least be a 20 down to an 18. I don't know if it goes down to 16. Not 100% sure. I don't have one. So there's no way for me to tell. This is called Acer Red. And I think each colorway for the 36 millimeter is going to be limited to only 200 pieces. So they should sell out pretty quick. I think they're on pre-order right now. It's hard to tell. It seems like the 200 would sell really quick. I thought they kind of were when I went there before. They were sold out. Now they seems like they're available. I don't know what's going on. The U.S. price, I converted the uh, the uh, price on the website to uh, translate roughly to $646. So basically just under $650. Should keep you under, you know, the magic number for shipping and everything. Um, has a display case back. Inside is the Salita SW200. I'm going to talk more on that in a moment. Um, the loom on these are great. It is uh, a newer formula, I should say. It's an X1BL C1 loom, so it should glow long and bright. So that's really good. Now, let's talk about the 39 millimeter. So the 39 millimeter is, you guessed it, 39 millimeter by 46 lug to lug. So still pretty short on the lug to lug. Um, quite frankly, a little too short for me personally, but I think it's going to work for a lot of wrist. Uh, it's only 11.5 millimeter thick, so really close in size on that proportion. 20 millimeter lug width, kind of the same there, should have about the same bracelet. And the crown, I measure 6.4, but it's probably the same crown. So I don't know if it was just my calipers or what, but uh, it might be a different crown. It's hard to say. I would think they would have used the same crown, but I could be wrong. I'm wrong sometimes, guys. So same thing, Salita SW200, uh, X1 BL C1 loom, and then same price, 646. Now I don't think the 39 millimeter ones are limited, as far as I could tell. And you probably noticed on the white doll one, it says Christopher Ward at the 12 o'clock rather than the flag motif. So this is an older dial. This is not what the newer pre-order on the 39 is gonna look like. It's gonna have the flag motif. So this is just an example they had floating around so I could uh, show the size difference. Because they were going to send me the 36 alone, and I'm like, you know, can you send me a 39? It's nice to have that comparison, and they obliged. So thank you very much for doing that. The other thing that's quite a bit different on this is the strap length. Now, you would kind of expect that, potentially, because the 36 is going to be for a smaller wrist, right? Well, the strap also is shorter, both on... Uh, the 12 o'clock side and the 6 o'clock side. So if I put it on where it's comfortable, I only have one more dot left there. And there it is on my 7 and a quarter inch wrist. Could I wear it? Sure, I can wear whatever size watch I want. Will I wear this? No. Um, I borderline probably wouldn't even wear the 39 millimeter. It would definitely have to be on bracelet. Uh, but that's just me, guys. Like, everyone's going to have their own preference. Um, so the the leather straps are phenomenal, by the way. Even if you're just looking randomly for leather straps, you could consider uh, buying just the straps from Christopher Ward. Now, it's plenty of length on this one for the 39 millimeter, and you can see it looks way more in proportion for my wrist. Um, and honestly, it, it works. The 46 by 39 works. Uh, definitely after putting the 36 on and then putting this on, this one makes it seem way more manageable. Uh, but... Uh, and it's super legible. Great looking watch. I don't have any problems there. Okay, so before we do the loom shot, I want to talk about one thing. 
the one thing that I actually have an issue kind of with, and I think a lot of you guys do as well, and that is um, the fact that there's no, at least for us, the guys that are in the States, uh, the, the watch buying public that like Christopher Ward that are in the United States. I'm one of them. I like Christopher Ward and I'm in the United States. So sure, I can buy it online and they can ship it across the pond and I can get it and there might be some import fees and everything like that. Whatever. We can manage all that. But the issue becomes with the Salida SW200, there's um, potential for an issue with the winding mechanism. And I know quite a few friends that have had issues with their Christopher Wards and had to send it back to Christopher Ward for warranty. They cover the warranty and everything like that, but it's hugely inconvenient. I, I would love to see some sort of support on the state side. Um, maybe even some inventory, another distribution over the state side. I'd be curious to see what Christopher Ward's sales are in the United States, if it would warrant such a venture. I suspect it would. I think um, not only would it justify it, you know, with the current sales, but potentially could increase the sales in the States. I'm just throwing that out there, guys, if anyone wants to listen. Like, I can already feel, maybe I can get it. To, so it did it initially, but I'm not going to be able to replicate it, I guess. Um, but... What it does, it'll, when I go to wind it, and it did it when I first did it, you can, it wants to do it, but I swear to you it was doing it. So basically you would go to wind it, and it would completely spin the um, the uh, rotor. Like it's, it's supposed to be disengaged, it's supposed to be clutched out, and you're only winding the mainspring. But what happens is there's the winding mechanism, which is right underneath the rotor, um, there's some sort of failure or something in there. It's an easy fix from what I understand. Basically, pull the case back off, pull the rotor off, take that winding assembly out, put a new one in, bada boom, bada bing, and I think you're back in action. I think. I'm not a watchmaker, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Um, but the problem is, is these are like sometimes brand new watches and this is occurring. Um, does it really mess up the watch? No, not really. I mean, because you could still wind it and you can still just um, wear it and it'll keep it wound and you can go on about your day. But um, we're kind of obsessive group, us automatic watch buying public, and we want our automatic watches to perform spectacular, which is honestly an amazing feat already, in my opinion, that this little mechanical thing inside here does what it does, but yet we still want more at a lower price. Um, so I 100% I acknowledge that. I just feel like there's um, an opportunity for Christopher Ward to do better supports in the United States. And I've talked to Mike France, I've talked to some other people at Christopher Ward when I was at Wind Up in San Francisco and I'm gonna be at Wind Up in New York. And if they're available, I'll probably talk to them again because there's some other issues I have and, it, and that's like a whole behind the scenes logistics thing, but I'm not gonna get into that. And now I'm just babbling. So let's show the loom. Ultimately guys, I love the brand, I love the watches, I absolutely love the Light Catcher series and a few of their other models as well. They make a phenomenal product. I just want more support, that's it. We just need more support in the United States. Um, if it's not justified, then tell me it's not justified. But I suspect it is. I suspect that the United States sales of this brand is uh, high enough to address the issue. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.